Have you ever wanted to get an inside look at some of the new construction floor plans? Well, you're in luck. Today, we're gonna be taking you through a Pulte Summerwood, one of their most popular and very versatile floor plans. So come on, let's take a look. This is Live Joy Southwest Florida, the channel that tells you everything that you want to know about living in and moving to Southwest Florida. If this is what you're looking for, then you should definitely subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you'll be notified every time we release a new video. My phone number is 239-246-2322. Please feel free to reach out anytime or you can schedule time directly through the Calendly link below. So we're here at the place at Corkscrew and we're going to start with the popular Summerwood model by Pulte. This model home and this floor plan, I should say more specifically, is one of the most popular floor plans that Pulte has. And the reason being, it's just very flexible. And by flexible, I mean, regardless of where you are and your stage in life, this can be the perfect floor plan for you. Um, you can have anywhere from almost 1,900 square feet to really just about 3,000 square feet. There's many options that get it closer to about 2,200 square feet with gathering room extensions. Um, zero corner opens up into the lanai space, but you can also add a loft. So with the loft, you're adding about 750 square feet additionally, and that includes the loft area, of course, but then an additional bedroom and bathroom. So you actually do have the ability to make a three bedroom house with the Summerwood floor plan. Now, one of the things that people love the most about the Summerwood is the open floor plan and the gathering room. So we're gonna see that here in just a little bit, but um, let me kind of narrate where we are in the tour. So we came through the main kitchen area and the gathering room, and we're now in the owner suite. And you'll see it has really great space. It has a spa-like bathroom and a generous walk-in closet. So you do have the dual vanities here. And then with Pulte, you have a lot of customization options, whether it be the cabinet style, the color, the flooring, um, the granite, you know, you name it. All of the tile, frankly, it's in the shower uh, as well. If you want like a, um, you know, an accent, uh, within there you get to pick that as well and you can see there was a little bit of repair there they moved some of the wire uh, shelving in the closet but this is again a highly desirable floor plan just because it is so functional so you actually have a little linen closet here in the master bath as well and then you'll see the, the shower there um, and then the owner suite actually looks back to the lanai area so you do have that privacy and that is another thing that we hear pretty frequently with this floor plan in particular is that the owner space is actually set away from the guest spaces. So as we come back out of the master suite or bathroom specifically, you'll see again the big window there looking over your lanai space. And then it comes back out into this really great gathering room kind of open floor plan kitchen. Um, you have ample counter space here. You can actually extend the island as an option. And then you do have a very generous pantry as well within the kitchen. Um, <clears throat> as we pan around here again in just a moment, you're going to see the gathering room and then also um, how it kind of opens up onto the lanai. So you do have an eat-in kitchen portion. And then this is one of the most, I would say, desired features in this floor plan. Not every floor plan offers this zero corner sliding door. But as you can see, the doors effectively nest um, on either side. And then this space totally opens up. So depending on the time of year, especially obviously in season for us, these doors can be wide open. And then you've just you know, really created this outdoor space becomes part of your living space. Um, and it's really just great how these doors, as you can see, fold away. This house was optioned with the plumbing or prep for the outdoor kitchen. So that is an option. This also has the extended lanai or covered lanai. So you can see there's a generous amount of lanai space as we pull back here. And then this does have the standard builder's pool without the spa. So you can see just from a sizing perspective um, about the size of the pool that you would get. And again, walking back in, this is where you want your space. So this house is laid out really, really well. 
Um, this is where the people, as you guys know, when you're cooking a meal or having company over, they're all going to be in this one space. So the, the ability to open it up, particularly when it's our cooler months and less humid months, um, it just really is a nice feature. Okay, so we're going to make our way back towards the guest suites. And the first thing you're going to see here is the den. Um, the den can actually be optioned as a bedroom, but the typical layout is a two bedroom with a den. And then you can add a third bedroom, make the den a fourth bedroom, and then also a fifth bedroom if you add the loft upstairs. We'll talk about specifically how that's done. So the garage, which we're going to see in just a moment here, actually has a storage area or maybe even what you'd call a golf cart parking space in the uh, kind of default floor plan. You have some options to convert that space. So we're now in kind of the second guest suite. And this does have a bathroom. Um, it is kind of the main bathroom for your, you know, for the primary floor, but it also is kind of tucked away. So effectively, it feels like a guest suite if you were to have, um, you know, family or friends or any, you know, guests in staying with you. And again, really well optioned in this particular floor plan or house. You can see um, kind of the gray palette throughout in this uh, in this tone. And then again, another linen closet here. Um, we're going to pivot a little bit and we're going to look more towards the laundry room and then also as they created it the third bedroom Which is the space that I was kind of mentioning would be part of the garage in the default floor plan So here you have the utility closet, which actually houses your HVAC um, And then you also have of course the laundry room and then the sink area here as well a lot of this is options all of the trim work that you see generally in these models are um, not even available as an option. That's a designer that they have come in that furnishes, of course, all these units, adds the trim work and all the details. So, you know, be prepared. If you buy a home, it's not going to look like any of the models that you see. And uh, if you're working with a partner or a real estate expert, certainly we or they will be able to point out what is part of the floor plan, what is not, and then some of the design work that's been done. Because it also may give you some ideas in terms of what you want to do um, as you finish off the home. So we're going to look more towards the garage now. And this wall that we're walking towards is actually the back side of the garage. I want to point that out because that third bedroom we were just in, by default, would actually be garage space. So as we pivot here to the right, you're going to see a wall. But in the initial floor plan, that's actually an extended garage stall. So you'd have ability to use it for storage or maybe even a golf cart. We hope you enjoyed that walkthrough of the Summerwood. And if you have any specific questions that we can answer, you can definitely find us on all of our social media, schedule time on the Calendly link, which is in the comments below, or you can definitely call me at 239-246-2322. If you like that floor plan and what the Pulte homes look like, check out this video, The Place at Corkscrew, where Pulte is one of the two builders and you can see all kinds of other homes that are available and take a look at what this community has to offer. Thank <laughs> you.